Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you're gonna be getting ready with me, okay? I have a night out and I wanted to film a get ready with me. We're gonna be doing this makeup look, which I'm loving, okay? Cool tones, I did it for you guys. And not only that, but I'm also gonna be showing you guys my skin prep, how to get it right and tight, snatched, looking flawless before makeup application so that your makeup looks the best it could possibly look. You guys already know how much I love the Ula Henriksen toner. This is like a holy grail for me, especially if you have oily skin, if you have breakouts, and they've noticed how much I loved it. So we're partnering for this video so I can show you guys some of their other skincare stuff that is bomb, including this in the routine, their new mask, and all the skincare that everybody's talking about, their under eye cream, which is like a hit on social media, and also their new moisturizer. So if you guys are interested in this video, then keep on watching. So anytime I have an event, I really feel like I wanna give my skin major prep to make sure my makeup lasts, that my skin looks smoother, that my pores look smaller, you understand. I like to feel like I'm having a spa day at home. So I'm gonna be using the Ula Henriksen, and this is the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. This mask is super fun because it's bright blue and it just feels nice and cooling. So usually I just take a little bit on the back of my hand, Boom. So I'm gonna take the little brush, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply this. Look how blue it is. Steven and I were masking with this the other day. I'm blue. Every time I put this mask on, that's the song that comes in my head. Switched my brush up here because I like to get right into the cheek area nice and dense. What this mask is gonna do is make your pores look nice and small. They're gonna appear smaller. You are gonna have a smoother base for makeup application. That's really what's key about this is it does combat oils. So if you tend to get slick throughout the night, especially when you put foundation on, this is gonna help reduce the oil. So now what you do is you leave the mask on for 15 minutes and just kind of do what you do. All right, so next with skincare, I'm gonna go ahead and tone my skin. You guys know how important toner has become to me. This is my favorite toner. It's the Ula Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. Love this stuff, it really helps me with breakouts. I've been using it forever now. If I take a little bit on a pad and I'm just gonna run that over my skin and I really just dab it into the parts where I have breakouts right now. And also, if you have oily skin around the nose area, toner helps with that. This stuff has a really nice cooling feeling too. But you guys know this, I've used it so many times. Now I'm gonna go in with some eye cream using the Ula Henriksen. This is the Banana Eye Cream, Banana Bright Eye. So I just take a little bit of that and then you always wanna use this finger, your ring finger, to apply your under eye cream. And basically it's the weakest of the fingers, okay? It has the lightest touch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some moisturizer because you have to apply moisturizer before foundation. Just let it sink in. Sometimes when I'm feeling bougie, I just use a foundation brush to apply my moisturizer because again, I like to feel that at-home spa experience. And this is the Sea Rush Brightening Gel. All right, so our skin is prepped. Now it's time to go into the makeup. I'm going for more like cool tones. You heard it here first, cool tones. We're gonna start on the eye makeup. So can I get a little zoom, zoom, boom, boom? Zoom, zoom, boom, boom. A little close, like a little further back. Just like beep. There. We're gonna start by priming the lids. I'm gonna be using just this ColourPop concealer. I just like to take my beauty blender. Do a nice light layer. This is in the shade Medium Tan. Now I'm gonna go in with a shadow stick. This one is by Laura Mercier and it's called Cobblestone. All over the eye. Kind of building the shape that you want. After you apply that, just take your blending brush and just work that into the crease. And then I'm gonna build it up one more time, blend it out. 
Now I'm gonna be using the new Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I'm gonna go into this color suede right over here. This is the perfect color for the look. It's also, along with the black, the only cool toned color in this palette. I'm over here like searching for cool tones like, because you know I don't have them like that. Taking one of my favorite brushes, MAC 224, and we are gonna start smoking out the crease. It's such a pretty eyeshadow. I'm kind of creating the shape first, and then I go in and blend it. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush with the same color, focusing it on the outer part of the eye here. Boom, boom, pow. And don't worry about the lid, we're gonna apply a different color. So now we're gonna dip into this bone color. This is just from the Matte Metals Kat Von D. You could use any bone color. I'm just gonna pop this at the highest point of the brow bone and just blend it out. For the lid, I'm gonna use something a little sparkly because it's a night out. I'll be using the Dose of Color Single Shadow in the shade Slinky. And you just start patting it in. I like to use my fingers with any shimmers and you just gotta build it up. I'm thinking about going to Vegas soon, guys. It's been a minute since I've been back in my heyday when I was out fountain and bopping. I'm taking a concealer brush just to get closer to the edges and blending it out. You wouldn't really need to do this if you didn't have nails, but I, sometimes I find with nails, it gets in the way of my precision. Uh, anyways, what I was saying, this is a perfect look for Vegas and I'm thinking about going to Vegas soon. It's been a minute. I remember the last time I went to Vegas, I was like, I'm done with Vegas. It's not for me, I'm not going back. And now I'm kind of like, I'm ready. I forgot all the negative and now all I'm thinking about was the positive. Like my bachelorette party there. Oh, such a good time. Such a good time. We were just wild and reckless. We were taking, maybe I'll do a story time, my bachelorette party. I've applied some of the block party shadow. Now I'm going back into my crease with a little bit more of the suede matte shadow. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's all coming together now. The cool tones always scare me and then once I see it coming together, I'm like, oh yes, we've arrived. All right, we're looking good. We're looking right and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. Jumping back into the skin now that our skincare has settled in, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is kind of like a liquid glow product. There's different colors, this one's three. I'm using it more as a highlight for today, but there's different colors. You could use it instead of foundation and just put it all over the skin, which is nice. But I want my skin to be extra poppin'. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and push that into the face. This is just a little more skin prep before we dip into our foundation. I'm using the Lancome 410 shade and I'm just gonna apply that with my Beauty Blender. Pressing the foundation into the skin here. I want to add a little bit of black to the makeup look before I put my concealer on, so I'm picking up the black in the Huda Beauty palette. This is Black Truffle. Go onto a Smith 253 brush, and I'm going to add that to kind of the wing area, the outer lash line. And you want to do this before concealer because sometimes you can have some fallout, you know? Also kind of gives your lashes like a little bit of a lift, and you want to be snatched. I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer. Get the sides of the nose real good. You wanna blend that in with the Beauty Blender? There's nothing like applying concealer and just seeing how much life I feel like I get after. Like it brightens me up a little bit. The Becca concealer is lightweight, so nice, especially for every day. But when I wanna kick up my concealer up a notch, I take a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape, especially on the sides of the nose where I wanna like conceal any shadowing. And then I'm gonna use this to highlight the nose. And the forehead, mm-hmm. I feel like I was like, I'm just gonna apply a little concealer. Two seconds later, I'm like, look at all this concealer on my face. I just wanna press it in on these corners here. I don't wanna blend out too much because I wanna make sure that my pigmentation stays covered. Mm. Mm-hmm, there we go. Blending out the chin, always save the nose for last. I feel like I'm so aggressive with my beauty blender. Like I'm like, pounding the makeup into my face. I need to be more gentle. We got the new Marc Jacobs Finish Line 34 Invisible Powder. I think this has a little bit more color. It's not super translucent. How do I get it out though, of this sifter? You know what I mean? Like, I don't need that there. I just want to dip it in. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a minute. And since we're here with the powder, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. See, with a powder brush, it's really nice to have that. And I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Telling you, skincare matters. 
Feeling pretty smooth. While that's sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the lower lash line of the eyes or just the eyes in general. I'm gonna pick up a black coal liner. This is the Urban Decay. And we're gonna just apply that on the inside of the eye, the waterline, and then right here on the outer corner and just feathering it in. Make sure you tight line up, up and heel. That's good for now. And I'm just gonna take a nice pencil brush and we're gonna blend that out. So uh, I started working out again. It's miserable. I mean, every morning I think, is today gonna be the day I wake up and I like to do this or not? I see people out there like, oh my God, I love my workouts. This is so fun, I feel so great. And I'm just here like, no. I don't feel any of that, okay? I do not feel any of that yet. Maybe I'll get there, but so far it's not where I'm at personally. I'm out there dying. I'm looking like one of those noodles at the gas station. You know, those things that just flail in the wind. All right, and then I'm gonna go back into suede, which is the color we used in the crease. I'm taking that on a pencil brush, I'm gonna smoke out the black liner just a tiny bit, just right along the edge. You know whose under eye smokiness I love? Laura from Melt Cosmetics, or like uh, Jamie Genevieve. I love like the smokiness of how they do their lower lash lines, it's just everything. I'm gonna go back into this powder, the Marc Jacobs powder, and I'm going to apply that down the bridge of my nose. I should have done that earlier, but I just forgot. Still gonna keep the powder on until we have the lashes and everything else done. So I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. Dipping into a little bit of bronzer, also using the Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is Tantastic. Just applying that all over. Make my forehead look a little smaller. Now I'm gonna pick up this MAC blush. This is copper tone, not too warm, not too cool. It's just like a nice neutral color. I'm just gonna use that to take off the powder on my nose. Before we apply highlight or anything to the skin, we wanna use some setting spray. This is gonna make sure that all the powder, oh. I just realized I didn't dust the powder off under my eyes and I set it. <laughs> I think I got most of it off, but don't do that. That's not good. Mm. Mm. While that is sitting, let's go ahead and pop on some lashes. I'm gonna use these from Huda Beauty and they are in the style Jade number 13. I'm gonna go put these on, I'll be right back. For highlight, I'm gonna be using Fuego. This is the collaboration that Katie and I did with Dose of Colors. All right, now it's time to glow, okay? I'm gonna start off with a little and then you just wanna fan it out. Yes. Glossy. Fan it over here in the temple. I'm also going to take that down the center of the nose, tip of the nose, and the cupid's bow. I'm also going to take a little bit of the Fuego highlight and pop that right in the inner corner. And then to soften it all, I like to go over with my beauty blender just to make sure it's nice and melted into the skin. For lipstick, you know what lip liner I've been loving lately, guys? The LA Girl lip liners, bomb all the new colors. I've been using this one, which is Cafe. I feel like their formula is really nice to build up the lip line if you want to over overdraw it. Just lightly lining the lips here. And then for lipstick, this is the Inglot and JLo lipstick in the shade J213. So I just kind of tap this on. It's really, really matte kind of blending the lip liner with the lipstick. It's a nude color, but it has a, a little bit of a rosy undertone, which I like. So that is it. I am ready. I just have to go put a different outfit on because this robe got me feeling some type of way. I'll be right back. So I just changed into this top because I feel like how much does it match my eyes? You see what I did there? You see that? This is my finished makeup look and skin prep. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This makeup is definitely gonna stay on all night. Don't have to worry about oils shining through. Pores are not gonna be popping tonight. And this overall makeup look just gives me like girl night out vibes, Vegas vibes. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you guys get notified when my videos go up because I know YouTube stays playing games with the notifications. So make sure you hit that bell, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm over here like searching for cool tones, like, cause you know I don't have them like that, okay? Gotta tame these hairs.